Jean Piaget was a Swiss psychologist who came up with the four stages of cognitive development. Jeremy will be conducting a few experiments from several processes that are developed within the concrete operational stage. This stage is developed between the ages of 7 and 11. The processes we will see are seriation, classification, transitivity, reversibility and conservation. Prepare yourself for some mind-blowing experiments with the help of his daughters. Isabel who is 9 and based on her age should be right within the concrete operational stage. And Crystal who is 16 and should be beyond the concrete operational stage. Let's not forget today's guest appearance by his wife Carmen who should also be beyond the concrete operational stage. But so Jeremy doesn't have to sleep on the couch let's not reveal her age. Great idea. So without further ado let's go and check it out. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do first is to take these stuffed animals of yours, and I want you to put them in order by either color or size. It's up to you. So put them in order from either color by either color or size. And you can start whenever you're ready. Okay, so you put them in order by what? Size. Size, and then what is this over here all the way to this over here? Zebra. Zebra is what? Bigger or smaller? Bigger. So the zebra is the biggest one? So what is the zebra? Bigger or smaller? Small. And then what is this one over here? Bigger. So you did it from, from what to what? Okay, good job. Alright, so for the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take these animals and these animals, and I add them all in there, and I want you to take them and I want you to put them into two different groups. So just basically take them and put them into two different categories. Okay? Go ahead. And you can put one group on one side of the table and the other group on the other side of the table, okay? Are you having trouble with that last one? Why? What kind of groups did you create? This one's kind of like orange, and these are black and white. Okay. So, this is just white. So, which which group do you think you'd go to? Go into out of the two groups you created? Which group do you think you'd go into? Hmm. This one. Why? Because. This doesn't really have any orange. Okay. And it's white. Okay. Is there anything on it black? Just its eyes. It's eyes. So doesn't it fit the category that you the group that you created? Yes. So do you want to put it in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you have two groups. You created black and white animal group and an orange or she colored animal group, right? Yes. Alright, good job. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna move this to the side. And we'll do our next experiment in a minute. My name is Crystal and I'm 16. Okay, Crystal. I'm going to ask you to take your stuffed animals and I want you to sort them into an order, either by color or by size. That's up to you. Go ahead. Okay, 
Okay, and so how did you sort them? Size. Okay, thank you. I'm going to give you those same animals and a few more, and I'm going to ask you to put them into two different groups. Put one group on one side of the table and the other group on the other side of the table. Any two groups? Or yep, two groups, your, your, your choice. why you chose to put these in this group and these over here in that group? Because these don't have anything that's white. And these all do. Okay. Okay, okay Isabel, I'm going to ask you a few questions about some people. Ready? Okay. I'm going to give you some information first and then I'll ask you, actually I'm just going to ask you more questions. So here we go. Andrew? is taller than Bobby, okay? So who's taller than who? Andrew. Who's taller than who? Andrew's taller than Bobby. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Bobby is taller than Chris. Who's taller than who there? Bobby is taller than Chris. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Here's Andrew and Chris. Who's taller? Chris. And Chris is taller than Andrew? I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Stop there. Okay, Crystal. I'm going to tell you some, I'm going to give you some information and ask you a couple questions. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I want you to hold this card. Andrew is taller than Bobby. So who's taller than who? Andrew is taller than Bobby. Okay. Put this one down and move that one over. Bobby is taller than Chris. Who's taller? Bobby. Who's taller, Chris or Andrew? Andrew. Thank you. Okay, so I have a few questions for you. Ready? Okay. Your stuffed cat here is a tiger. Is a tiger a cat? Yes. Okay. Um, your stuffed bird here is an eagle. Is an eagle a bird? Yes. Your <clears throat> your horse here is a pony. Is a pony a horse? Actually, a pony is a horse, but it's more just like a baby horse. Okay. Okay, Crystal. This stuffed cat is a tiger. Is a tiger a cat? Yes. This stuffed bird is an eagle. Is an eagle a bird? Yes. This toy horse is a pony. Is a pony a horse? Yes. Okay, Isabel. You have two water bottles in front of you, right? Yeah. I want you to take a look at these two water bottles and tell me, does one water bottle have more water than the other, less water than the other, or are they the same amount of water? They're the same amount of okay, water. Okay, good. What I want you to do is to take this water bottle, open it, and then pour it in there. Go ahead. All the way. Oh, almost right to the top. Right? Okay, I want to take the other water bottle and do the same thing into this container. Oh, this to the top also. Alright, now I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to tell me which container has more water. You think that one has more water? Okay. That's the end of that experiment. Thank you. Okay, Crystal, we have two bottles of water here. I want you to look at the bottles of water. Tell me, does one have more water, less water, or are they the same amount of water? Go with me. Okay. 
Basically, are they the same or is one more? Yeah, they're the same. Other? Okay, they're the same. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to take this bottle of water, pour it in here, this bottle of water, and pour it into this container. Pour this one in here? No, this one goes in here. It won't overflow. Just keep going. Okay, Crystal, here's your question. Which container has more water in it? This one? Okay. My name is Carmen, and it's none of your business how old I am. Okay. And so, that's for the right there. Okay. So, Carmen, what I want you to do is to look at these two bottles of water and tell me, do they have about the same amount of water, or is one more or one less than the other? This one has a little bit less. But is it, is it about the same? No. Yeah. Would you say it's about the same, just slightly off? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do is pour this one into this. So what am I supposed to do? I did to drink the two bottles no. of water? Okay. Okay, and I want you to take this bottle of water and pour it into that container. Okay. That will be the thing you will drink both of them. Not me. Uh, done. Okay. And the last thing I want you to do is answer this question. Which one of these two containers is holding more water? This one. Okay, thank you. So there you have it. Isabel had no problem with seriation, classification, and reversibility. However, she was unable to answer the conservation and transitivity questions correctly. Remember Isabel is only 9 years old so she is still in the concrete operational stage and based upon Piaget's developmental theories she probably shouldn't have gotten all the questions correct anyway since she is still developing cognitively. According to Piaget, Crystal and Carmen should have been able to answer all questions correctly but as you witnessed in the video they were unsuccessful with the conservation experiment. They were able to answer all other questions correctly though. Remember. The ages associated with the stages are only meant as a guide. That is our report for this evening. We hope you enjoyed our program. Thank you and have a good night.